Hello friends, this video on organic chemistry part 34 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Stability of organic compounds. We have talked about different effects and we see that inductive effect, resonance effect, hyperlinjugation, all these impact stability. So stability is dependent on resonance effects, inductive effect, steric hindrance. These two we have already studied. Steric hindrance will start. But let's start with Resonance effect also, if we, as I told, resonance is nothing but it causes displacement of electron from one part to another, and with that, it makes system more stable. Because if in the system you have at one point more uh, electrons, one point less electrons, so it will become unstable. If it is all delocalized, it becomes stable. This is called resonance effect. For example, in this case, this is the actual structure. Here, if you see, the electrons are delocalized. We have studied a lot on resonance. Same thing, inductive effect also adds to the stability. For example, it can in fact make things more unstable also. In this case, if you see, uh, for example, uh, I have my carbon, right? This is my uh, primary, this is my secondary, two car uh, carbon with two, central carbon with two carbon, here is tertiary, right? So in this case, since it has negative charge, these carbon, these will add inductive effect will make it more unstable actually, right? Because this will add to the negative charge. This is more unstable. So if I if I'm asked which one is more stable out of these, I'll say this one is more unstable. Why? And this one is more why more unstable? Because these three are alkyl groups due to inductive effect will give more negative more electron to the central carbon, right? The central carbon was already negative, it will become all the more negative, so it will become all the more stable. All the more unstable. You know that more charge on a particular atom decreases the stability and less charge increases the stability. For example, in this case, right, it will be other way around. These are, right, this is again tertiary, this is secondary, this is primary. So here if you see, these are will give electron to it and this is positive charge carbon. It will nullify the positive charge and this will make it stable. So at, in case of carbocations, the tertiary is more stable, in case of carbon ion, tertiary is more unstable. Why? It's all because of inductive effect. Correct? So, inductive effect can make things stable or unstable. This is one example. Tertiary carbocation is more stable than primary and secondary, but tertiary carbon ion is more unstable than primary and secondary because of inductive effect. And the, next is the steric hindrance. So, when the two atoms are very close to each other, they ripple. Right. For example, in this case, right, this is carbon, this is carbon, and let's suppose this is my CS3, the big one, CS3, and this is hydrogen, hydrogen. So if these two CS3 are there and they are very close to each other, they will ripple. So this will be unstable. But if you see the same thing in this fashion, for example, I have the same compound in this fashion where my um, methyl group are attached in the opposite direction. Correct. So in this case, this will be stable because the steric hindrance is less, right? Because they will not repel each other much because the difference is distance is more. So steric hindrance also tells which one is more stable. So in this case, this is unstable because this CS3 groups are right, they'll repel each other. In this case, if you see they are apart from each other, so they are stable. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.